Today we are checking out the Swiss Railway's double-decker intercity carriages on board an interregional service from Zurich down to Bern. So join me as we explore the features of this train and what long-distance rail travel is like in Switzerland. Hello and guten Tag von Zürich Hauptbahnhof. Today we are taking one of the Swiss Railway's interregional trains down to Bern. Let's start right away by heading into the main concourse. Most of the departure tracks are located here, as this is a classic European dead-end terminal. However, in 2014 a new lower level was opened, which allowed some trains to through run the station. Zurich Hauptbahnhof is a major rail hub and is pretty much the heart of the Swiss railways, with service to every corner of Switzerland every hour. So let's check the departure board and find out where our train leaves from. Turns out it's actually from platform 18, which is right where we came from. But let me show you some more of the station right before we leave. Anyway, there's not much time left before our train leaves, so we better start heading to the platform. And it's parked right where we came from, on platform 18. Our train today is being pushed by an RE460 locomotive from the Swiss Railways, capable of 200 km per hour. And at the front of this 6 carriage train we find this Intercity 2000 cap car. Time to board! I'm travelling in standard class on this train today. And as we are a double decker we better take a seat upstairs. Let's go with this bay for two. We leave Zürich Hauptbahnhof right on time heading down to Bern. We depart next to an ICN set used on the flagship service IC5 down to Geneva. I'll have a video on this train coming out in the future, so subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. And as we enter the complex junctions around Zürich Hauptbahnhof, let's take a look at today's route. We are on board SPB Interregio Line 16, which is an hourly train from Zurich to Bern, stopping in Baden, Bruck, Aarau, Ulten, before running non-stop to Bern. The journey takes 1 hour and 18 minutes to cover 180 km, which gives the train an average speed of 90 km per hour. Let's take a closer look at the train. We are currently in the front car, where you will find some bicycle storage. There's also a bit of standard class seating. And now we're heading into the vestibule where there's also a toilet. Up on the upper deck you will find some more standard class seating and a kids play area. This reminds me a lot of the double deckers used in Finland, which are even pulled by the same locomotives. You should check out my video on those. It's linked in the top right hand corner. I think you could have a great nap on this couch thing but it's very dirty. Unlike on the double deckers in Finland, here in Switzerland, the pass through to the other carriages is actually on the top floor. Here we're walking through another standard class carriage. This one is laid out more traditionally, with 2 plus 2 seating in base of force, all the way through. Except for at the end by the stairs, where they get a little more creative. I also think these trains with the darker seats compared to the first carriages have been refurbished as part of a program called the IC2020. Maybe there's some Swiss rail fan in the comments that can let me know more about this. I'll spare you for another wagon of the same second class seats, but let's check out downstairs. There are no toilets upstairs, so you'll have to come downstairs for those. Similar seating, but there's a lot less of it on the bottom floor. And now we'll go and have a look at first class. The seat seems to be slightly wider and have a better headrest, but otherwise very similar. Especially those couches.
The Swiss Railways also has a restaurant car version of the IC2000, but sadly not in our train composition today. And here at last, a quick tour of the toilet. Very simple and easy locking mechanism, plenty of toilet paper, let's see if the water works. It does. Toilet flush. So everything seems good. Nice job, SPB. And that's it for the tour of the train. On my way back, I decided to switch to a Bay of Four in the refurbished part of the train. Here you'll find a nice big table, good for working on a laptop, a power outlet, as well as window blind. In the middle there is a movable armrest, however it's not padded and it's just some hard plastic. There's a headrest. And a decently plush seat, which is fine for the short journeys you make in Switzerland. And with that, let's enjoy some of the scenery while the sun sets and we make our way towards Bern. We need to take a moment to talk about fares, because for many things the Swiss Railway does right, this is not one of them. If you were to jump on the SPB website, you'd be presented with a fare of 25.50 francs for the journey down to Bern. It's a bit expensive, but okay for purchasing right on the day. But if you jump onto the buy page, you will see that this is only if you have the half fare card, which itself is 185 francs. Otherwise you have to pay the full fare, which is 51 francs for this short one hour journey. Luckily, you can travel for much cheaper, but you gotta do some planning. Let's say you're planning to make a few journeys across a week, then it might be cheaper to just get an interrail pass if you live outside of Switzerland. Or you can do what I did, which is to get a St. Dave pass, which starts at 52 francs if booked well in advance, and then you can travel on as much public transport in Switzerland as you want for 24 hours. Basically, there's almost always a better deal in buying some sort of pass, even the half fare card will likely quickly pay off itself. This is generally a bad way of structuring your fares, and it makes it more non-intuitive and complex than it has to be, especially for visitors who might just rock up to the railway station in Geneva airport and head straight for a ticket machine. Anyway, that's my biggest issue with the Swiss railways. But now, we're approaching Bern. In terms of this trip with the SPB IC2000 carriages, I have to say they're pretty comfortable, the train was clean, on time, and their railway generally just works. Got to burn from Zurich comfortably and fast, and I couldn't ask for more on that front. 
If you enjoyed my video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel or maybe left a comment. You can also follow my travels in real time by checking out my Twitter. There's a link to it in the description as well. And with that said, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm now on my way to check out some of the sites here in Bern. And there's only really one thing left to say. Thanks for watching.